guys, this is Jezza, and today we're doing a quick tutorial on just how to set up your own multiplayer server in survival mode. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is come to minecraft.net, and we're only really looking at the download and multiplayer pages. So just open both of them up in your respective tabs. On the servers page, you're going to want to take it from, if you want to host your own server, so you just click that download the zip folder which I have over here on my desktop and this is the part that I actually missed when I was first doing it down the bottom here multiplayer alpha server software um, basically the file that we're going to want is the minecraft server.jar so just click on that and it'll come up for you to download it uh, again I've already got it downloaded onto my desktop so that's fine uh, the other important thing, want to keep this page open because we will need this Java code down the bottom a bit later. So first thing we're going to do is just make an empty folder just to put all your Minecraft stuff in. Just import that into there. Just going to want to extract everything from the zip folder and then we can get rid of it. So the first step we're going to do is just double click on start server. Let that create a couple of the files. I like to double click it twice just to make sure that everything's sweet. Alright, so that's basically made all the text files and stuff that the actual server's going to need to use. So that's pretty important. Uh, probably the most important of these is actually the server properties. So in here it's got the basic server properties stuff. Uh, you're never going to want to change the port. Uh, most of the time make sure you have verify names true. and this doesn't actually have everything that's in my server properties. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. Alright, so basically my server properties, you have to include your local server IP just to make it run a bit better and I've also got monsters set to true. But um, I'll also copy this into the description bar just so you can see everything. So start server.bat is the first thing we run and now we're just going to want to see if this will run yep alright so I'm going to need to use the code this code down here we're just going to copy that create a new text document I'm just going to call it minecraft going to want to open that and we're just going to put the code in there save it come back out and then rename it dot bat b a t and basically that's just going to tell the server to start with more ram just going to make everything run a lot better now for the server properties we are going to need this server ip which appears after you run minecraft underscore server dot jar so this is the stuff we're going to need it's actually put in the other stuff at the moment so server ip to figure that out we're going to want to run uh, cmd just if you can find that. Just the command prompts, whichever operating system you're on, you'll get to it differently. Uh, Alright, so basically in here we're just going to want to run uh, ooh, IP config. Oh, helps if you can spell. Alright, now for me, uh, I'm just taking the IPv4 address most of the time it'll start with a 192.168 that's basically your internal IP address and that's what the server wants at the moment so you just put in your internal one 2.4 I think it was and for survival mode just to make it even though they don't really hurt you yet we're just going to set that monsters to true never touch the port it's pretty important and grow trees I like to set it to true so when you cut down wood you can replant and everything will grow back. So we save that under the server properties. Now we've got our world sitting in there from the server before. Alright, so once you've input your internal IP and everything like that, to start the server itself you just need to click on the minecraft.bat. And for me I don't get any errors, anything. Just check all that, make sure that's all okay. In the other window, make sure that's okay. The other thing you will need to do is make sure that your port is open 25565 just make sure that's 
open. If you don't know how to do that, you can normally find a tutorial pretty easy on how to port forward. Not too difficult. To, it's also got a couple of programs out there that can do it for you. So if you need any help with that, just send us a message and we should be able to help you out. Um, other than that, that should be about all you need to do. Uh, when you do connect through Minecraft.exe, just make sure that it is your external IP address, which you can find by going to My IP. Uh, just Google My IP and then you get a couple of results. So normally it's the first one. Just click on that and just copy and paste uh, whatever's your IP address into Minecraft itself and then put a colon and then 25565. And that should be it guys. Got any problems or anything else like that? Just let us know and we'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching and hope to see you around.